Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're a Windows 11 user, you've probably heard about the end of service warning that's been popping up. In today's video, we're going to break down what this means, why it's happening, and how you can fix it or avoid any disruptions in your experience. So, let's dive in. So, let's start by understanding what the end of service message means. If you've recently seen this pop up in your Windows 11 settings, it can be a little worrying. Basically, Microsoft sets a specific support timeline for each version of Windows 11. When the service or support for a version reaches its end, the system will no longer receive critical security updates, bug fixes, or feature updates. This means your device could become more vulnerable over time. So, if you're on an older version of Windows 11 or have missed an update, you might be running into this message. But don't panic, there are ways to fix it. Now, you might be wondering, why does this happen in the first place? Well, Microsoft typically releases feature updates for Windows every six months, and each version gets 18 months of support. After that, the support ends. If your version of Windows 11 is approaching or has already passed its support deadline, you'll see the end of service notification reminding you that it's time to upgrade or update. Think of it like this, Microsoft is constantly working to improve the security and features of Windows, so they need users to keep their systems updated in order to stay safe and get the latest enhancements. Step 1, check your Windows version. To do this, press Windows plus R, type in Winver, and hit enter. This will tell you which version of Windows 11 you're running. Step 2, update your system. To do this, go to settings greater than Windows update greater than check for updates. If there's an update available, it'll prompt you to install it. Updating your system will bring your device to the latest version, ensuring that you're fully supported with security patches and new features. Microsoft typically gives users about 18 months of support for each feature update, so if your system is out of date, updating to the latest version will keep your computer secure and running smoothly. Step 3, if you're on an older version that's no longer supported, you might need to upgrade to the next major release. Microsoft will usually offer an option to upgrade for free to the latest version of Windows 11. To do this, go to Settings Greater Than Update and Security Greater Than Windows Update, and you should see an option to upgrade to a newer version of Windows 11. But what if you can't update your Windows 11 version for some reason? Maybe your PC doesn't meet the system requirements, or it's not offering the update for some other reason. Check your hardware compatibility, make sure your PC meets the minimum requirements for the latest version of Windows 11. Use the Windows 11 Installation Assistant. You can download it from the Microsoft website to manually upgrade your device. Consider a fresh install. If your device is still running an outdated version and can't be updated, a fresh install of the latest version of Windows 11 might be the way to go. Without the latest updates, your system will be exposed to security vulnerabilities, which means hackers and malicious software could take advantage of any weaknesses. Plus, you'll miss out on all the new features and improvements that Microsoft rolls out in each update. And that's it for today's video. I hope this helped clear up the end of service issue in Windows 11 and showed you how to get your system back on track. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech tips and tricks.